Dame i gospodo, svi ćemo se složiti da trebamo odati posebno priznanje Institutu za kulturalnu diplomatiju na njihovoj posebnosti prilikom odabira tema. We should all agree that we should pay a special tribute to the Institute for Cultural Diplomacy for their choose of the special topics this year. I ova tema, rušenje svetskih zidova, je nešto što može sve nas okupiti, bez obzira gdje bili, šta radili i ko bili. And this topic is something that should gather all of us here without uh, distinguishing who we are or what we do and where we do that. Koliko možemo spoznati korpus ljudskih prava i razraditi mehanizme za njihovu zaštitu, toliko će biti manje zidova. As much as we can recognize the uh, human rights issue uh, the, and their protection, that much uh, the walls will break down. U konačnom samo ću se podsjetiti i sebe i sve vas na prethodnog govornika, pravoslavnog sveštenika koji je rekao moramo srušiti zidove u našem srcu. Ako to uspijemo, nijednog zida više neće biti. I would just say the words of my predes, uh, pre, uh, uh, previous speaker who said that if we manage to break down the walls in our hearts, then we will no longer be in the position to build another ones. Cijeneći vrijeme koje smo do sada potrošili, ja ću prepustiti saradnici da, da pročita moj obraćanje. And in order to save the time, I will let my colleague to read my speech. Ladies and gentlemen, based on the experiences from past centuries, modern democratic society inevitably requires a strong rule of law, legal state, primarily the recognition and respect of human rights, equality of every individual in the exercise of their rights and freedoms, as well as an adequate legal protection in the event of their endanger or injury. Peace, democracy, and other basic social values are inconceivable without the personal development, enjoyment of rights and freedoms, and respect for the feelings of others. The importance of the rights of the individual and society as a whole have been recognized by the international community as a fundamental part of civilization without which there is no economic, political, social, and cultural prosperity. The universality of human rights, the necessity of their lasting and enjoyment, belonging of the rights to every individual without distinction, represents the achievements that are, the inter that are at the international level for the first time adopted in the Universal Declaration of Human Rights as the highest and most important source of human rights. Mankind did not stop on that and further deepening and pointing to the need to strengthen and improve the protection of human rights have continued through the adoption of a series of acts, declarations, conventions, treaties adopted at international and European level. However, the historical development of the world, especially war developments peculiar to the last 20th century with regard to the guarantee of social values, have shown the impossibility of governments to regulate their own system of protection of rights imposing the need for the creation of international organizations, institutions, and legally binding acts through which the existence of the international community was individualized. In this sense, and considering the importance of the European country, it is the necessary to, me to mention the European Convention on Human Rights and Fundamental Freedoms, which is of essential importance for the promotion and protection of human rights in the old continent. Aware of the sovereignty and equality of each member state of the Council of Europe, the Convention law is now an, of invaluable importance to every citizen of Europe because through its existence and application, precedence over the internal legal order supplements the national system, promotes the same values and produces obligations for the country that in exercising and guarantees of human rights and freedoms, peace and security, they must respect international standards. If we could talk about the creation of a single European model of the human rights, then we are just talking about the European Convention and the delegation of the protection of rights to the European Court of Human Rights, which represents a civilizational breakthrough of great legal significance for every individual, regardless of their nationality, gender, age, origin, property, and such. 
a need for imperative international regulars for the preservation of peace and security and international legal standards is an assumption of pure enjoyment of human rights, and that's precisely what the European Convention and the case law of the Strasbourg Court provides. Convention on Human Rights in the European Court are the last chance for European citizens to protect their rights which are not protected in their home countries or not sufficiently enough in what is exactly being reflected the outstanding and immeasurable significance of convention rights and their full court protection regardless of the nationality of applicant. Dear Excellencies, the fall of the Berlin Wall, a symbol of Germany's division and conflict between East and West, have consequently led to its unification and then to political and democratic processes and transformation through the Europe. Ideas and values that were guidance on that famous 1989, after 25 years, carried the wisdom and the need for crit critical review and analysis. The increase in the number of the new European countries after the fall of the Berlin Wall the transition to a market economy in Central and Eastern Europe, the socialist transition to capitalist society, past events of the war, the importance and the role of the European Union, current political conflicts, inevitably puts in the forefront the issue of human rights and freedoms for every European. States and international organizations, as subjects of international law, are aware of the necessity of strengthening its effectiveness to enhance human rights protection system, to unificate it and make it less dependent on the economic development of a society. Unfortunately, a quarter of a century later from the fall of the Berlin Wall in the 21st century in Europe and in the world, there are still walls through the invisible ones, leading to a political, cultural, and social segregation, and therefore to discrimination against the enjoyment of human rights and freedoms. As holders of a senior and responsible positions and decision makers in our countries, we have to raise our vo voice for intolerance of every form of social or legally impermissible distinction, separation, and exclusion in the enjoyment of rights and fundamental freedoms, in particular the vulnerable categories of persons. Therefore, all the institutions of national systems must be prepared to cherish the values of modern society in any time to lawfully and adequately respond and combat with any form of discrimination because it is a prerequisite for the, for the enjoyment of human and other rights and freedoms, and in particular, respect for human dignity and university. In the time of distinguishing those states that are members of the European Union and those who aspire to become ones, we have to remove all the obstacles that stands in the way of protection of threatened or violated rights, the promotion of peace and global security, as this is the only way that the values of the fall of Berlin Wall, tolerance and respect for diversity will lead to balanced economic, social development and progress of Europe and thus the progress of its citizens. On this path, the Montenegrin judiciary is fully dedicated to providing equal protection to all so that every individual, regardless of nationality, personal uniqueness, commitment and capacities, achieves and protects the rights and freedoms guaranteed by national and international regulations. At the end, I believe that only by joining forces, responsible policy, respect for diversity, strong will and power, we will break down the existing walls, politically, culturally and socially unite Europe and protect human rights and fundamental freedoms which are prerequisite for the development in the old co continent and our home countries. Human rights and their protection is a sufficient reason for breaking of all barriers between the people and prejudice that carries their diversity. In this belief, I thank you for the invitation to participate in this highly important conference, and I wish all of us successful and fruitful work.